Hi guys, how you doing? How you doing? Um, PSG, Real Madrid. Real Madrid make it through to the next round, making PSG crash out yet again, failing miserably on the U UCL. You for Champions League? They're out. I, I can't. I don't get it. Well, I can't do it actually. And let me tell you what I think about it. PSG are submerged of quality, quality individual players. Honestly, they are. They have class throughout. An array of talent, the envy of the world, probably, in one team. Front to back, back to front, they are covered in quality. But they didn't show it last night. And the reason why they don't show it, because people need to understand this. And it's not a criticism. We need to understand one thing about football, guys. It's a team sport. The individuals can make the difference even more so when the team has the right balance, has the right work ethic, they work for each other, they go through a wall for each other. You have to have that at any level. And it doesn't matter how much quality, how much money you spend in a squad to make it what PSG have done, you cannot buy team spirit. You create it day by day. You create team spirit. A sense of belonging. I don't see players playing for that team that have a sense of belonging being there. I looked at Neymar. Honestly, I hadn't seen Neymar play for a long, long time. I'll be honest with you. I hadn't seen him. What? Yeah, I know he's been, he's had some injury issues and stuff like that. And he's been in and out of the squad because of that reason. But I watched him yesterday for a whole of the game. And honestly, unrecognisable. Many will say he's overrated. How you doing? All right. Sorry, guys. Just saying hello to someone I know. Um, Neymar, completely unrecognisable. I, I just don't understand. I don't understand how a player of that quality, and Neymar is undoubtedly a, a quality, quality player, cannot make the difference. He cannot make the difference. He's not the only one. Leo Messi. Another player. Honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know. He, lo he looks weird in the number 30. Let me just start by saying that. He doesn't look right in that number. It's something about it. It's just off key. But I'm going to say this. The guy is literally unrecognisable. I, I, I mentioned in a, in, 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 a, in, a, in a video I did this morning for uh, Tottenham away. A left back went past him. Literally a few yards away from him. He didn't even attempt to like try and put him a bit of pressure on him. He literally just watched him go by. And that's another thing. I, I, he, I know he did that a lot for Barcelona. But Barcelona were an oiled machine. He was able to maybe walk around a bit more that, and allow him to cause damage. Which he did often in that final third. He saved himself for that. But this team here... It ain't drilled in that same way. But he can't be doing what he's, he's been used to doing. I don't expect him to run all the way to the back, but at least put the, 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 the player next to you with some sort of pressure. He just watched him go past. So you've got him, you've got Neymar, you've got Mbappe, who's, I mean, that guy, honestly, absolute, another quality, but he puts it on show. He does he does play. And yesterday, he, he was decisive in, in, in the first leg in, in, in Paris. And he was decisive yesterday he, by putting... Um, PSG in the lead again, giving them a 2 new aggregate score with him being with him being the scorer. And he looked threatening all night. And prior to him scoring, he had missed a few uh, he missed a few chances where he should have done better. But what I'm trying to say, guys, that the team the team is simply not um the team is simply not a together team. And for that reason they crash out. Mistakes at the back. Goalkeeper. I don't know what he was thinking about. 
just clear your lines, man. Clear your lines. You get under pressure, you need to start clearing your lines. And, and, and people need to start remembering that, that whatever happens is whilst you always want to try and play the ball from the back, if you're under immediate pressure and it's going to cost you, or it's going to be a, a problem. It's going to be a problem for you. You need to clear your lines. That goalkeeper was terrible in that in that first goal. What he did, the defender, the defend the defenders in the defense in general, just not up to to the level. And they completely allowed um, they completely allowed Real Madrid to come back into the game. Benzema was devastating. Benzema was totally devastating. He had this look in his eye, you know, that even when PSG were losing, he wasn't having it. And he led, a, like, not only the... He led that team like a real captain would do in a situation where you're in or you're out. You're, in that moment, Real Madrid were out, out. They were completely out. Two nil down in Agra, they were out. And he led them. First of all, he... And this is a, a striker that's been around for a long time. But he wanted it yesterday and he set the tone for that comeback. And everybody followed. Modric followed. He was superb as well, by the way, Modric. He was brilliant. And it all kind of, that goal gave them the lease of life that they required because I, honestly, I didn't see them coming back until that moment. When I saw them coming back and then they immediately pushed on, pushed on. And in the end, another two goals from, from Benzema absolutely finished them off. It was an incredible comeback. 2-0 down, winning 3-2. All in one half. It, it, honestly, I, 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 Real Madrid are now a threat, you know. Experienced side. They have an experienced side in there. They have an experienced coach in Ancelotti. Honestly, these guys now, that could give them the absolute push to go and win. What would that be? 13, 14 Champions League? Absolutely scary, but Real Madrid made it. I think PSG allowed him. Listen, we and Pochettino. Um, I mean, so many people be looking at him. Like, My word, Poch! How did that? Let, how did that slip away from you, man? I, I, listen, I, I thought even even when they equalised, I thought Poch should have, should have acted immediately and maybe trying to compact the team a little bit more by making a, a change to try and solidify the midfield try and stop the surge of Real Madrid to actually come at you that didn't happen the changes weren't made and in the end it absolutely cost them it's a shame it's a shame because I see Poch leaving this summer and where does that leave him I don't know man I don't know listen the love for Poch is there and always will be great moments at um, at Spurs but right now, I don't want to see him linked to Spurs because we have Conte and it's right that we carry on with Conte. That's from uh, you know, from my perspective as a as a my perspective as a Spurs fan. But in regards to Real Madrid, well done, thoroughly deserved, worked all the way to the end. I think you guys are real contenders to go all the way because you have an experienced side, a, a team that's been there and done it. And then you have PSG, who have an array of talent, but just simply don't have the chemistry with the players. There's even rumours now that Donnarumma and Neymar ended up in a in a in a in some sort of heated exchange in the in the changing rooms. Some say that they even raised hands. I don't know, but just not good enough on PSG yet again. And. Some people were maybe man that deserve them, they, 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 they love them. You either love them or hate them. Hate them for what, how they get the money together to, to get all these away of talent, but yet they can't create the chemistry. That's how it goes. Remember, this is a, a team sport, not an individual sport. Take care, guys. Have a good day.